Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel World of Software Testing. So in our previous lectures we have uh, discussed about the monkey testing, the first testing and also we have covered some of the differences between monkey testing and uh, the um, uh, first testing. Also we have covered different types of monkey testing in our uh, previous lectures. In this lecture uh, let's discuss about the gorilla testing and uh, also we'll see some of the differences between monkey testing and the gorilla testing. So most of the people uh, always gets confused uh, with the um, uh, with the terminologies monkey testing and gorilla testing but again there is some difference between these two. So let's uh, understand the gorilla testing first. The gorilla testing is a software testing technique wherein a model of program is repeatedly tested to ensure that it is working correctly and there is no bug in that model. The gorilla testing is a manual testing procedure and is performed on the selected models of the system software system with the selected test cases. The main objective of gorilla testing is to test the specific modules heavily and find any faults in their implementation. So the module can be tested over 100 times manually and in the same manner. So let's say uh, for example we have one module here. So we are, we are, we are testing it uh, for the first time in a similar manner with a similar data uh, in the second time, third time. So we, we are, we are do, doing it for the hundred times in the same manner so that's why the gorilla testing is also known as the frustrating testing torture testing or the fault tolerance testing so this is nothing but a frustrating testing frustrating testing because we are we are uh, uh, testing it testing the same model hundreds times manually in the same manner the gorilla testing is similar to the monkey testing the only uh, difference being that it, it tests the particular models whereas the monkey testing tests the system as a whole and each module in the product is picked and random valid and invalid inputs are fed into it until the model, cra model crashes. It is a rigorous manual test uh, to check the robustness of the application. So let's see uh, some of the differences between monkey testing and gorilla testing. So the first one is testing with a random uh, with a valid and invalid input. So here we can uh, we can use the valid as well as invalid inputs. Gorilla testing is a manual test with a random inputs. So here we are performing the uh, test on the same model hundreds of times. The monkey testing uh, is performed on the entire system uh, can have several test cases and the gorilla testing is performed on specifically few selective modules with a few test cases. This is the selective models. We are selecting the sum of the modules for the gorilla testing and we are uh, performing the monkey testing on a system entire system as a whole. The objective of monkey testing is to check for a system crash. So complete system crash. This is the main objective of monkey testing. The objective of uh, gorilla testing is to check whether the module is working properly or not, whether the selected module selected module is working properly or not. So this is the objective of gorilla testing. The monkey test can be automated and the gorilla test, gorilla test can, can't be automated because we are, we are uh, just testing the similar module with a similar uh, a manner so that's why we, we can't um, automate it we, we need to uh, perform it manually only so these are some of the differences between uh, the monkey testing and gorilla testing so thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos in our upcoming lecture we are going to discuss about the ad hoc testing thanks for watching